Amen. Amen. Good morning, New Direction. Can we give God a hand clap of praise this morning? Amen. It's time for a call to worship. Can we stand for the reading of God's word? I'll be coming from the 100th Division of Psalms. It says, make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Know ye that the Lord, he is God. It is he that has made us and not we ourselves. We are his people and the sheep of his pastures. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Okay. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. Why? For the Lord is good. His mercy is everlasting and his truth endures to all generations. Can we pray? Father God, in Jesus' name, we come, first of all, God, saying thank you. God, we thank you for this day. God, we thank you for watching over us last night, God, and waking us up this morning. God, we thank you for traveling grace, allowing us to come together and give your name to praise. God, we ask you to just look down on the new direction, God, as a whole. God, touch our, our praise team. God, touch our pastor. God, continue to give him word, God, to to give to your people, God. Touch his family, God. We ask you, God, to just come into this place, God, and have your way, God. Let someone run to the altar, God, saying, what must I do to be saved, God? God, we ask you to just come into this place and have your way, God. We ask you to do these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord, everybody. Everybody, praise the Lord. Now that was kind of weak. I need you to put your hands together and give God praise. Hey, everybody clap your hands. Everybody clap your hands. Come on, give God the praise. Come on and give him glory. Listen. Oh, yeah. I am a happy soul. I've got Story to tell God is well, he's been, he's been good. Hey, yeah, he's been good. Hey, he's been good. Woo, yeah, he's been good. Now everybody clap your hands in here. I'll do it again. I am a happy soul. I've got two life for no. I've got a story to tell that all is well. He's been, yeah, he's been good. Hey, he's been good. He's been good. Everybody clap your hand again. Everybody say, hey. Can I get a witness? Can I hear from you? Can I get a witness? Can I hear from you? You say. Can I get one witness? Can I hear from you? Can I get a witness? Can I hear from you? Can I get one witness? Can I get a witness? He's been good. He's been good. Everybody clap your hands. Everybody say, hey. hey. One more time. Can I get one to witness? Can I get from you? Can I get one to witness? Can I get from you? You say. Can I get a witness? Can I get Can I get one witness? Can I get from you? Can I get one witness? 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 Has he been good? Has he made a way? Did he 
and he turn it all around. Make a new life day. Can I get one witness that can testify that God's been good, that God's been kind? Can I get one witness? Can I get one witness? Can I get one witness? Wait a minute right here. Wait, wait, wait. I can't hold it. God's been good to me. Hey, I can't hold it. God's been good to me. Everybody say, I can't hold it. I said, I can't hold it. Hey, I said, I can't hold it. I said, I can't hold it. I said, I can't hold it. God's been. I said, I can't hold it. God's been good. I said, I can't hold it. I said, I can't hold it. I can't hold it. I can't hold it. He's been a mind regulator. That's why I can't hold it. He's been a soul saver. That's why I can't hold it. It's when I think of the goodness, I think the goodness of Jesus, and all that he's done, every battle he's won, every victory he's made, and then I can't hold it, say I can't hold it, say I can't hold it, now everybody clap your hands. Everybody clap your hands. Wait a minute, break the music down. Come on to clap your head. Come on to clap your head. Hit me one tap. Hit me one time. I'm waiting on you. Hit me two times.
rehearsal. We just kept saying, I can't hold it. I can't hold it. I can't hold it. I, just three words. But why can't you hold it? Because he's been good. Good God. Good God. Good God. Say good. Good God. He's a good God. Alto say it. Say a good God. Sopranos. Good God. Good God. Go. Sopranos and altos together. Go. Good God. Break the music. Break the music. A good God.
to where my God sister is only 62 pounds. And so this morning, see, now what are you expecting me to say? What are you expecting me to say? What do you think? And say, KP, what you about to say? She said, I was able to go see Carmen. And I said, how's she doing? She said, oh, she's doing good. She said, matter of fact, she said, the doctor came in the room while she was there. She said, I don't really understand what's going on here. But one of the ailments began to subside. We talking about a baby on her deathbed. And right in the midst of adversity, God stepped in and started to pull that helmet out. Is there anybody in the room that's willing to give God praise in expectation for what God is getting ready to do in Tyra's cousin's life? Let's touch and agree and give God praise. Come on and give him praise. Come on and give him praise. Come on and give him praise. Come on and give a praise. Praise him. Praise him for what he's getting ready to do. God, I ain't got to see you do it right now because I know it's coming. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. I dare you declare it to yourself. It's coming. 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 Whatever you need. Now what happens when the music stops? Praise according to your expectation. I can't tell you, it ain't, it ain't nothing wrong with how you praise them, just my expectation might be a little high. The, the, uh, in Bible study, pastor says sometimes you gotta lower your expectations. And sometimes you want people to get up to where you expect them to be. The best model is to show them how to do it. And I'm going to testify. I'm going to testify. Because I had been dealing with, and I've talked to pastor about this, and a few other people, and I had been dealing with the fact that when I do praise and worship, it kind of goes long. And so, in these past weeks, I've been pulling back. Oh my God. My God. My God. My God. My God. But if God has gifted me with the anointing to be able to pan the room and look beyond what I want, because I'm a big boy, I'm sweating, I got two more services, and I ain't got no time to go change. I'm being honest. But if I can pan the room and see that one of my brothers and sisters is heavy and I know that I know how to get out of being heavy, why wouldn't I show them what to do? That's you musicians right there. Why wouldn't I give them praise? As a matter of fact, since I'm already through, I'm going to praise God for you. Is there anybody in the room that says, I've been through the storm, I've been through the rain, I've been through the fire, and I've been through the pain. But through it all, I remember that he loves me and he cares. Watch this part. He'll never put more on me than I can bear. So since I know God's going to pull it off me, my feet ought to get light. Because my expectation is I'm going to be free. Is there anybody in the room that's willing to give God a free praise? One, two, three, let's go. I'm free. I'm free. Everybody say, I'm free. I'm free. Everybody say, 
say I'm free No music, I'm free I'm I'm free Now everybody clap your hands Say I'm free, I'm free that I'm no longer moved by his presence, no longer sensitive to his presence in this place. I dare somebody just give him a wave off him and just tell him, thank you, Lord, for freeing me. Thank you, Lord, for saving me. Thank you, Lord, for delivering me. I wish I had somebody here that was unashamed to give him glory, unashamed to give him praise. Somebody, anybody, tell him thank you for what he stopped. Thank you for what he prevented. Thank you for what he blocked. Thank you for what he held back. Thank you for what didn't happen. I dare you high five your neighbor. Tell him I'm just thankful for what didn't happen. some praise in this place if you're free today give God some praise in this place praise the Lord hallelujah I'm free thank you Lord for freedom thank you Lord for freedom listen before we go another further in this service first lady um, has to go she has an engagement this morning and can we just give God praise for her so excited that the Lord is using her in this season, but really in every season. She is so anointed, so appointed, and we know um, the Good Samaritan Kojic Church is in for a treat this morning, and we wish we could go with you, but we're going to catch it online. Amen? But listen, I'm interrupting service because I don't want to do this baby christening without First Lady. Amen? Can we give God praise for her? So before you rush out of here, I'm going to ask um, our boo to come up, Shai Theron, and your family, come on up, and the whole family. Let's give God praise for them. I'm going to have you stop right here in front of the Lord's Supper, in front of the communion table. going to have you stop right here in front of this communion table. Right there, yep, right there, right there. Family surround her, family surround her. Church, what I want you to do, 
I want you to stand up. I want you to stand up. We're going to pray together over this beautiful family. Minister Casey, can you get can you get my oil and anoint First Lady's hands? I want her to anoint this baby. Psalms 23, the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in the paths of righteousness for his name. Say, yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou prepares a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Here it is. Thou anoints my head with oil. That's what we want to do today. We want to anoint this baby's head with oil so she can have the wisdom of God. We want to anoint her ears so she can hear the word of God. We want to anoint her hands, Lord have mercy, so she can do the work of God. We want to anoint her feet so she walks in the ways of God. We want to anoint her mouth so she speaks the word of God. And we praise God for this baby. Can we give God some praise for this beautiful baby? Amen. Matthew 19, 13 through 15 simply says, Then were there brought unto Jesus little children, that he should put his hands on them and pray. But the disciples rebuked the children. But Jesus said, here it is, Suffer the little children to come unto me. Forbid them not, for such is the kingdom of heaven. And then he laid his hands on the child and blessed them. Church, I want you to extend your hands to this beautiful family. Every head bowed, every eye closed. Gracious and eternal Father, we pause saying thank you for the gift of this child. We pray, Father, that your love fills this child. We pray, Father, that your favor fills this child. We pray, Father, that your goodness and your mercy fill this child. We pray, Father, that your presence fills this child. We pray against the, any plot of the devil. We pray against any scheme of the enemy that opposes your plans for this child's life. We speak blessings over this child. We speak favor over this child. We speak abundance over this child. We speak health over this child. We speak prosperity over this child. We speak anointing over this child. We speak gifting over this child. We speak a bright light over this child. We speak talents over this child. Use her life for your glory. Use her gift for your honor. Use her talents for your praise. Use her law for your name's sake so that your name be glorified so that your kingdom be magnified that your father gets the glory and we thank you Lord for what you are about to do for her we thank you for what you are about to do in her we thank you for what you are about to do through her we thank you Lord for her parents now touch the mother Lord give her provision touch the father Lord give him wisdom give them your spirit give them your knowledge give them Lord your understanding help them to be great examples help them to be great role models help them to be a light in the midst of darkness help them to guide this child through the rough streets of Milwaukee and we are blessing them father fill their homes with your kindness fill their homes with your presence fill their home with your power fill their homes with your holy ghost touch the grandmother touch the uncles touch the aunties touch the cousins touch the brothers and sisters touch the grandchildren touch everything attached to them we're praying father that no weapon formed against them shall prosper. We are believing by faith that she can do all things through Christ who strengthens her. We are believing by faith that their steps are ordered in your word. And we thank you, Lord, for what you are about to do with this family. We thank you, Lord, for the chains that are about to break in this family. We thank you, Lord, for the blessings that are about to come to this family. We thank you, Lord, for the doors that are about to open in this family. Touch them, Lord. Bless them, Lord. Heal them, Lord. Break every chain in the mighty name of Jesus, in the powerful name of Jesus, in the matchless name of Jesus. Everyone said, thank you. Hallelujah. Amen. And amen.
praise is what you do. I dare you say it. magic touch. <laughs> Visitors, thank you for choosing to worship with us today at New Direction Christian Church. And so on behalf of Pastor Williams and our First Lady, we welcome you. Thank you for choosing us. We hope that you find this service enriching to your soul and you are welcome to visit with us anytime. Thank you. A round of applause again. So happy birthday to all of those who are celebrating in the month of May. <laughs> Wishing you many, many birthday blessings this month. Mothers, we are celebrating you next week. So please join us for breakfast at 8 o'clock. The men are hosting a Mother's Day breakfast for all the mothers and their children. So please join us. We will not have Sunday school that morning. So men report to the lower level next Sunday to help present the breakfast to us mothers. So please plan to join us. Men, if you'd like to participate, you can check in with Pastor Williams for any details. Um, pastor Sinclair, a friend of New Direction, is being installed as the new pastor of Community of Grace Church on Friday, May 19th. And so we, Pastor, our own Pastor Williams is the guest speaker for his installation service. So please join us in supporting Pastor and Pastor Sinclair as he is installed. Um, also, um, there's a spring revival at St. John's Missionary Baptist Church on May 9th, 10th, and 11th. Again, our Pastor Williams is the guest lecturer for each night of the revival. So we would ask that you pick a night or two to join us and support Pastor Williams as he brings the message that night of the Spring Revival. St. John's Missionary Baptist Church is located at 2439 West Hopkins Street. So please make arrangements to join us and no Bible study that week, right? No, no Bible study next week. So no Sunday school next Sunday and no Bible study the week of May 9th. Um, Sunday, May 28th is Pentecost Sunday. So in honor of that, of Pentecost, we are asking all church members to wear white on that day. So that's Sunday, May 28th. And so just a couple of reminders. Um, please donate the children's book to the Children's Library for books for ages 2 to 10. Ladies, remember to register for the Women in the Mirror Conference. And my quote of the day is, you cannot hang out with negative people and expect to live a positive life. So choose your friends wisely. Let the church say amen again. Amen. amen. Let's give God some praise for our announcement clerk. Isn't she a blessing? Amen. Real quick, give me two minutes. I want to reiterate our mothers. Come on out. Every year we are um, we're doing some great things for our mothers. We always have mugs and muffins. We always are handing out roses to every mother. 
and then also we had an extra special breakfast for you on Sunday, 8 a.m. So instead of coming to church for Sunday school, come to church um, for breakfast for our mothers and their children. Um, we will have a, a <coughs> delicious breakfast prepared for you. Um, you got um, everything. <laughs> everything except chitlins. Everything except chitlins. <laughs> no, but we got the ham, the bacon, the, the grits, the sausage, the, uh, the biscuits, and gravy. Listen, I can't even name um, the menu because um, everything, 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 everything. We got everything. So, so I'm excited to be able to treat you all because you deserve it. Can we give our mothers a hand? Amen. Amen. And then we're going to be at St. John's United Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday this week. I pray you can make it. I want to see you. Um, I know God blesses you for your faithfulness. I am living proof that he has blessed me for my faithfulness. And you're not only going to leave better, but, um, but God is certainly a rewarder of him that, um, of you all, when we seek him diligently. Amen? Amen. Amen. Stand before you um, to, to beseech you, to beg you, to plead you, to pray for our brother, our brother Handy. Can, um, can, can I get an amen on that? Amen. 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 Matter of fact, I'm just going to pause right here and pray for him. Is that all right? Yeah. Um, let, us, let us just stand just for our, uh, this great man of God. He's been so faithful to our church, and I know if he felt any better, he would be here. Let us bow our heads just for a word of prayer. Gracious and eternal Father, we pause, um, first of all, to say thank you. Amen. Before we ask you for anything, we want to thank you for everything you've done in our lives. This is an intercessory prayer, Lord, praying on behalf of our brother, the faithful usher here and member, more importantly, your son, Father, that you touch his body, Lord. We ask, Father, that you heal right now in the name of Jesus. From the inside out, Father, touch every vein and vessel. Touch every organ, Father. Touch his, him in his inward parts, Father. Whatever you need to do, Father, do it right now, Lord. We ask, Father, that you remove any illness. Remove all sickness, right Father. Now, for we know you to be a healer, Father. For you got more medicine in your him than all the medicine stores combined, Father. And we thank you, Father, for your goodness. We thank you for your grace. We ask, Father, that you cover him in this hospital, Father. Praying that he leave out quicker than expected. Father, we are praying and believing even by faith that he will be and meet every expectation, Father. We are believing by faith that he'll get out sooner than later, that his recovery process will be quicker, that the healing process will be quicker. We are believing by faith that he will leave out better than he came in Jesus' name. We thank you in advance for the praise report that's on his way. We thank you in advance for the deliverance that's about to happen. We thank you in advance for the dance he's about to do. We thank you in advance for the healing that's coming. In Jesus' name, somebody say it is so. High five your neighbor, tell him it is so. Amen. And amen. 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 Give God some praise in advance for his healer. Amen. His wife is with him. She's a faithful uh, woman of God, and we know they would all be here if they could. Listen, real quick. This is our time to worship the Lord and give him. Um, we are always doing something great in this church. I must say, I must testify and be transparent. Right now, we are remodeling an office downstairs, our trustee's office in the midst of getting a new stage down there so it can be functional, getting the carpet off the stage, new tiling, and um, this is going to be beautiful. I already know we're going to have our next children's Easter program right down there on that stage, and they're going to be acting and everything. Amen? Amen. And in the midst of that, we are paying down our debt. And uh, certainly the next thing will be, the next phase will be to remodel the kitchen and our bathrooms. Can we give God some praise for that? Amen. Uh, I must tell you, after we are debt free, give God some praise after I say this, we're not going to get another loan for, from no bank. Amen. We gonna use what we got or we ain't gonna do it. Amen. Amen. We not going to them people no more. 
So um, we're going to use what we got, and we will not. We will be operating debt-free after this. Um, we are $35,000 down after our first year. And after this second year, we're going to hit you with another big number. Just give us about two more months, and we'll have another portion of our debt paid down. In the third year, we'll be debt-free. Amen? I say that to say, your seed is on good ground. Your seed is on good ground. So I beseech you, brothers and sisters, I beg of you to give liberally, okay, to give liberally in this offering. This is the first Sunday, and if this is your payday, listen, are you balling? If you balling, if that's you, if that's you, you got paid on the first, you know. Listen, I want you to go above and beyond on this day and give $50 if you can, if you can. If that's you, that ain't everybody, I get it. Just give your normal $25 offering. But if that is you and you got it today, today is your day. I want you to give 50. We want to make sure that we meet the mandate and the vision of this church. Amen. So, and then also, if you want to uh, pay your tithes via Give the Fire's New Direction Christian Church, our own Cash App is dollar sign NDCC Milwaukee. Again, Cash App dollar sign NDCC Milwaukee. Let us stand from where you are and let us come around from the back. You are under the directions of our ushers. Lord, I pray that you will have blessed it 100 fold. I ask that you will bless everyone that gave today and everyone that had not gave that wanted to. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Tell somebody he's a strong tower.
staff. Hey, though I want, I want some drums.
I'm gonna stay right here. I'm gonna stay right here. I ain't going nowhere. God, I believe you. I'll receive your word. I'm gonna dwell, I'll dwell. I'm gonna dwell, I'll dwell. Dwell in your house. Dwell in your house. Dwell in your house. One more time, say goodness. in your house. Does anybody want to do it? Does anybody want to do it? I'll dwell, I'll dwell. I'll dwell, I'll dwell. I'll dwell, I'll dwell. Now come on and give a glory all over the room. I hear you, Pastor Brown. I hear you, Pastor Brown. Goodness and mercy, goodness and mercy. Everybody say goodness. Goodness and mercy. Goodness and mercy. Goodness and mercy. Goodness and mercy. Here we go. And I will dwell. Separate me from the love of Jesus. I'll let nothing separate me from the love of Jesus. Yeah. And I will dwell in your house. Dwell in your house. Dwell in your house. Dwell in your house. Sing that like the dwell go. What happens when you get to somebody's house? Y'all can take a break. Somebody come to my house and you willing to dwell, that means you're going to dwell the way I dwell. Dwell in your house. And then when I get there, I'm going to let you move in your house. Because you can't ask for help and then try to tell me how to help you. Move, move in your house. Move in your house. Move in your house. Heal in your house. Heal in your house. Anybody need that? Heal in your house. Watch this. Restore in your house. Say, restore. He's restoring the years you saw the tears. Restore. Restore. Restore in your house. Somebody walking around with depression, but Restore in your house. God's getting ready to move. He's getting ready to move. Restore. Restore in your house. He's getting ready to move. He's getting ready to move. Restore. Restore in your house. Hey, and now we have dwell in your house. Dwell in your house. Dwell in your house. And I will dwell in your house. 
And God, I'll let you move in your house. Because I know you will heal in your house. You got all power. You can restore me in your house. And I will dwell in your house. Dwell in your house. Dwell in your house. And I will dwell in your house. Dwell in your house. Dwell in your house. Come on, sing it. And I will dwell in your house. Dwell in your house. Dwell in your house. Say, and I will. And I will dwell in your house. Dwell in your house. Dwell in your house. And I will. No music. And I will dwell in your house. Dwell in your house. Dwell. direction, goodness and mercy has still been following you. I dare you thank him for goodness and mercy following you when you didn't deserve to be chased, when you didn't deserve to be ran after, when you didn't deserve to be found, when you didn't deserve to be walked with. Goodness and mercy have been following me not some of the days, not most of the days, not just on weekends, but every day of my life, his goodness and his mercy have been following me. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, for pursuing me. Thank you, Lord, for running after me. Thank you, Lord, for chasing me down when I ran in the opposite direction. When I ran away from your word, when I ran away from your will, goodness, somebody help me, and mercy have been following me. Thank you, Lord. While you're standing, I'm going to get right into this word. Mark 8, 22. Through 26. Once again, Mark chapter 8. If you are tuning in virtually, thank you for your presence today. Pray that you tag someone, share this post with someone. We want to be a blessing, even through Facebook, through YouTube, through our website, New Direction Christian Church. Again, Mark 8. Somebody say Mark 8. Mark 8. 22. 
through 26. When you found it, say amen. amen. Simply reads, then he came to Bethsaida and they brought him a blind man and begged him to touch him. So Jesus took the blind man by the hand and led him out of the town. And when he had spat on his eyes and put his hands on him, he asked him if he saw anything. And he looked up and said, I see men like trees walking. Then he put his hands on his eyes again and made him look up and his sight was restored and he saw everyone clearly. Then he sent him away to his house saying, neither go into the town nor tell anyone in town. I want to use for a subject this morning, living above sea level. You may be seated. Amen. Can we give our choir a hand real quick, just right fast? Didn't they bless us? Didn't they sound good? Amen. Sound good, look good, so proud of you. And if you want to join our choir, listen, listen. We still taking joiners. We still taking joiners. You all come on out, CKP for the adult choir or the children's choir, CKP. Um, we want to, I want to see a hundred people up here. Amen? Amen. Amen. And then also I want to see that men's choir grow. So again, men, CKP, we want to see you up here. If you can't sing, if, but, but you can rock. Listen, we're going to accept that. If you, you know how to rock on beat, we're going to. You made it. You made tryouts. High five your neighbor. Tell him you made tryouts. You can rock on beach. You all right. All right. We want. We just gonna. We just gonna turn your mic off. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. Amen. The air is on. I know y'all. It's a little warm in here. I had to. I had to unbutton my little robe. Listen, I got a little hot. So, but. The, but the air is on, so we going to, listen, I'm sorry. I, I, I know y'all don't want to see all my blessings, but I had, I got a little hot, you know. In our text, the text says some people brought this blind man and begged him to touch him. They are living above sea level um, because they believe by faith. That even though our friend is blind, I know a man who can heal him. Some people, anonymous people, nameless people in our text have brought this blind man and begged Jesus to touch him. I like some people because these some people did not mention their names. These some people are not um, interested in getting any notoriety, nor fame, nor glory, nor attention for what they've done. They are solely interested on getting their friend to Jesus. These are some people. These are not just anybody, but the text says some people brought their friend, a blind man, and begged him to touch him. I'm praying that God blesses you with not just anybody, but some people who know Jesus. High five your neighbor. Tell him, I pray that God sends some people in your life that want to see you healed. Some people that want to see you restored. Some people that want to see you recover all. Some people that want to see you blessed. Some people that want to see you prosper. Some people that want to see you succeed. Some people that want to see you healed. Some people that want to see you make it. Some people, Lord have mercy. I wish I had somebody here just high five somebody and say listen, I'm some people. I want to see you make it. I want to see you deliver. I want to see you whole. I want to see you well. There are some people that can't stand to see you blessed. There are some people that 
that don't want to see you make it. There are some people that you can't share your good news with. There are some people that can't wait till you make a mistake. There are some people that are waiting on you to fall. There are some people that are jealous of you now. There are some people who are hating on you now. There are some people who don't like you now. And guess what? God ain't even through with you. So they really going to be mad after a while. But can I tell you, may God bless you with some real genuine friends that don't, that want to help you but don't want no credit. They want to see you deliver, but they ain't going to bring up what they did for you. They want to see you well, but they ain't going to pull it over your head over and over again of how they brought you out and how much you owe them. You just need some anonymous, some people in your life that want to see you well. Friends, somebody help me. How many of us have them? Let's be friends before we go any further. TLC, put it another way. What about your friends? Will they be around? Somebody help me. Will they stand their ground? Will they turn their backs on you? You need some friends that know how to get a prayer through. You need some friends that know how to call on Jesus. You need some friends that know how to get through the line. You need some friends that know the word. You need some friends who are saved. Some friends who are redeemed. Some friends who are blood washed. Some friends that know the scripture. Some friends that know the Lord, high five your neighbor. Tell him you better get you some friends that know the Lord. So the text says Jesus takes this blind man by the hand and leads them out of the village. Friends, come with them. Jesus takes the one, not all of them, on a separate solo mission outside of the village. It suggests to us that sometimes God has to separate you from the people you started with. I wish I had some folk here that you don't hang around the clubbers you, you, uh, that you started with. You don't hang around the smokers you started with. You don't hang around the drinkers you started with. You don't hang around some of the people you started with. Lord have mercy. And it ain't really because of what God has done for you, but it's because some of them, Lord have mercy, didn't, know, didn't uh, appreciate and respect or like the change in your life. And so they cut you off. Lord have mercy say when they saw you restored they cut you off when they saw you healed that's why the bible says in the text don't go back to where you came from but I need you to go another way because there are some people in your circle some people in your life that that don't want to see you healed there are some people that can't stand to see your elevation they can't stand to see your promotion they can't stand to see what God is doing in your life that's why every testimony ain't for church that's why every praise report ain't for Facebook that's why you can't tweet everything God has done for you because everybody can't stand your good news there are some blessings that you gotta keep to yourself there are some checks in the mail you can't tell nobody about there are some deliverances you can't tell everybody because everybody ain't happy for you wish I had some help in this place high five your neighbor tell them everybody ain't happy about your promotion everybody ain't happy about your business everybody ain't happy about your marriage everybody ain't happy about your success everybody ain't happy about your job everybody ain't happy Somebody, some folk benefited from your weakness some people profited off your sickness some Lord have mercy if you get delivered then who they gonna talk about if you get healed then what they gonna laugh at if you get healed then how are they gonna feel better about themselves if you come out then how are they I wish I had somebody here their esteem is going to lessen when you get up with their, their, their worth is going to diminish when God get through with you but Lord have mercy sometimes God has to separate you from the people you started with that's why they don't like you that's why they blocked you that's why they unfriended you that's why they rejected you that's why they 
they turn their back on you. That's why they don't call you no more. Because God had to separate you from the people you started with. Don't you lose no sleep over who like who won't like you don't you lose no sleep over the friend you lost because they lost lord have mercy when they lost you you the winner you the blessed one you're the favor one sometimes god has to separate you from the people you started with and so text says he spits on on the man in the text now I know some of y'all saying that's nasty that's gross but if you sick enough you don't care how he bless you. Lord, have mercy. If you've been in pain bad enough, if you've been lonely enough, if you've been depressed enough, if you've been in a hospital long enough, if you've been broke enough, if you've been poor enough, if you've been miserable enough, if you've been crying enough, if you've been grieving enough, Lord, have mercy. If you've been depressed enough, you don't care how he bless you as long as he bless you. High five your neighbor. Tell him he can spit on me. I ask for the blessing. I don't care how he do it. I know y'all looking funny but let me remind you your mama used to spit on you when your face was ashy I wish I had some <laughs> when you had crumbs in your eyes and drool on your cheek and you ain't wash your face your mama spat on you Lord have mercy God is saying sometimes I gotta spit on you because I'm looking for some people who are the spitting image of me I wish I had somebody here that looked like Jesus I wish I had somebody here that walked like Jesus I wish I had somebody here that talks like Jesus God is looking for somebody that's the spitting image like him that loves like him that worships like him, that serves like him, that forgives like him, that's humble like him, who works like him, who praises like him, who loves God like him, who prays God. I wish I had somebody here, high five his neighbor, and tell him I'm trying to be the spitting image. I'm trying to look like him. I'm trying to act like him. I'm trying to love like him. High five your neighbor, tell him I'm his spitting image. I look like him because when he looks at me, he don't see my faults. He don't see my flaws because I'm covered. Somebody help me. I'm covered by the blood. So, in our text, he touches him once. And he asked him, can you see? He says, listen, I see men as, as trees. So he touches him again. He's able to see that second time, right? So it says, says a lot of things. Number one, it says some blessings and some miracles happen instantly. Then other blessings and breakthroughs and miracles and deliverance happen in stages. Lord have mercy. I know there are some people who pray once and you were healed. You pray one time and you were delivered. God took the taste out your mouth. God took the desire out your mind. The fleshly thought never happened again. Lord have mercy. But there are some of us in this room that it didn't happen instantly, but it's happening in stages. High five your neighbor. Tell him, please don't stop praying for me. I know I ain't delivered yet. Please don't take me off your prayer list. I know I'm not well yet. High five your neighbor tell him please God is working on my mouth high five your neighbor tell him God is working on my temper please don't give up on me God is working on my attitude God is working on my complaining self God is working on my grumbling God is working on my pride God is working on my ego there are some blessings Lord have mercy that happen instantly then there are others that happen in stages high five your neighbor tell him it's just a stage but I'm going from glory to glory Glory. The good news is God always finishes somebody help me what he starts and God ain't through with you high five two people encourage him and tell him God ain't through with you because he always finishes what he starts some miracles happen all of the sudden 
then some miracles happen over time. I find somebody else tell them God is just taking his time with me. But when I'm finished, Lord have mercy, I'm going to have a praise report for you. God ain't through with me. Somebody help me shout like you mean it. From the depths of your soul, from the bottom of your your stomach, your, your shando. How far somebody tell me, God ain't through with me. But he's going to finish what he started. And so... He says, I see men as trees. Well, church, how can a blind man know how trees look? Somebody help me in this place. Hold on, Doc. Hold on, Doc. You blind. How in the world, how on earth can you start talking in similes and metaphors, talking about what folk look like and what they don't look like? It suggests to us, church, that he was not born blind, but... Lord have mercy. He, but he had his sight, lost it, and got it back. So I'm talking to some people. You had money, lost it, but you're going to get it back. You were married, got a divorce, lost it, but you're going to get it back. Lord have mercy. You were on top, lost it, but you're going to get it back. You were doing well, lost it, but you're going to get it back. You were healthy, lost your health, but you're going to get it back. I found somebody tell them I'm believing by faith that this is the season of restoration. I don't know what you lost. I don't know what's missing. But I'm believing by faith that it's coming back. How far your neighbor? Tell him I'm believing by faith. Whatever you lost, you going to get it back. That neighbor didn't believe you. How far him one more time? Tell him I'm believing by faith. You going to get it back. I wish I had somebody here. The marriage you lost, the wife you lost, the husband you lost, the child you lost, the blessing you lost, the health you lost, the time you lost, the money you lost. I wish I had somebody here. The joy you lost, the smile you lost, the laugh you lost. You gon' get it back because this is the season of restoration. I five your neighbor. Tell him God ain't through with you because he's going to touch you again. I dare you high five somebody else. Tell them God is going to touch you again. I'm so glad that we don't serve the God of one time, but we serve the God of again. He'll bless you again. Heal you again. Answer your prayer again. Restore you again. Pick you up again. Bring you out again. Establish you again. I wish I had somebody here that had another praise in their spirit say I'll bless you again I'll praise you again I'll thank you again I wish I had somebody here that can shout like David I will bless the Lord at all times his praises shall continually be in my mouth oh magnify the Lord with me let us wish I had somebody here. Let us magnify the Lord. See, the first touch gave him sight, church. But the second touch gave him focus. Lord, have mercy. God is saying in this season, not only am I going to restore you, but I'm going to give you focus. You're going to be able to focus on your family. Focus on your business. Focus on your relationship. Focus on the job. Focus on your book. I wish I had somebody here. Lord, help me to focus. That's what I need. You've been focusing on your problems. You've been focusing on your loneliness. You've been focusing on the wrong stuff. Lord, have mercy. You've been focusing on on your giants you've been focusing on your mountains you've been focusing on your problems and God says Lord have mercy whatever is focused is magnified Lord have mercy and God says magnify him I wish I had somebody here that says I gotta magnify him I gotta focus on him I dare you fix your focus even now and say Lord I'm focused on you I'm focused on your word. I'm focused on your presence. I'm focused on you in my life. I'm focused on your plans. Lord, have mercy. I wish I had somebody here that's in a fight for sight. It's hard for you to see how things are going to work out. It's hard for you to see your way out of this one. It's hard for you to see how he's going to make a way. It's hard for you to see a change in your life. It's hard for you to see how you're going to get out of this one. But I'm believing by faith, church. 
that you're going to be able to see clearly, see no weapon prospering but forming see that your steps are ordered by the Lord see that the Lord is your shepherd you're gonna be able to see clearly see he's a healer see he's a restorer see he'll fix it I wish I had somebody here that can shout out to God and say I see you I see you Jesus working in my favor I see you Lord turning it around I see you working behind the scenes I see you working it out in my favor I see you I wish I had somebody here that can see you anybody in a fight for sight I can see you now Lord I can see clearly I can see you working it out in my favor do I have anybody here that can pause in the middle of this sermon and say I'm living above sea level because I don't live by sight but I'm walking by faith anybody here can just give him glory in this place anybody here can give him honor in this place this is your opportunity to give him praise let me say that again this is your chance to give him glory this is your moment to worship him I dare somebody I dare anybody give him give him a wave offering I dare somebody I dare anybody tell him thank you for what happened thank you for what didn't happen the fire he stopped the car accident he prevented Lord have mercy the foreclosure he stopped the bankruptcy he stopped I wish I had somebody here the pink slip he stopped Lord have mercy do I have anybody here that's seen God work in your life do I have anybody here with their own testimony of what God has done I don't know about you but I can see him on the cross I can see him dying in my place I can see the blood dripping down I can see he was wounded for our transgressions bruised for our iniquities the chastisement of our peace was on him and since I can see what he did for me I got no reason to be quiet Lord have mercy I got no reason to shut up church you ain't got the right to remain silent but make a joyful noise unto the Lord all ye lands serve the Lord with gladness come before his presence with singing know ye that the Lord he is God and he has made us and not we ourselves we are his people the sheep of his pasture enter his gates with praise enter his courts with thanksgiving be thankful unto him and bless his name I wish I had somebody here that would bless God with me tell him thank you tell him thank you tell him thank you you're worthy you're worthy you're worthy you're worthy you're worthy to be praised and i owe you glory i owe you thanks i owe you a hallelujah i owe you gratitude and if i if you don't do nothing else you've already i wish i had some help in this place you've already you've already Somebody help me shout. Shout yeah. Shout yeah. If he's already done enough, if he's opened enough doors, if he's healed you enough times, if he's sent. Thank you. Hallelujah.
make it. Yes, I will. I'll make it. Yes, I will. No matter what comes. No matter what goes. No matter what comes. No matter what goes. I'm going to press toward the mark of the high calling. Which is in Jesus. I look to the hills. But we come in my help. All of 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 my help. God, I need you. 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 Say, I need the oh God, I need you. Every hour, every second, every minute, every hour, every day, every week, every month. Every decade, every century, every millennium, God, I need you, God, I need you, and I'm gonna make it, and I'm gonna make it. This I declare, this I decree, that no weapon formed against me shall prosper, that no weapon, the weapon may form, but it won't work, the weapon may form, but it gonna work. I dare you say it, I dare you say it, I dare you say it, hey, now everybody clap your hands. Everybody clap your hands. to see yourself in the future. Watch this. Say it's over. It's over. It's over. It's all over. It's all over. See yourself in the future. See yourself in the future. See yourself healed. See yourself delivered. See yourself set free. Hey, it's over. It's over. This is my part. Say, I made it. I made it. Yes, I made it. Yes, I made it. But I never would have made it. But I never could have made it. I never should have made it. I never should have made it. But thank God. But thank God. I'm still here. 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 Made it. It's over. 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 You got to see it before you see it. You got to see it before you see it. You got to see it before you see it. You got to see it before you see it. What do you see? What do you see? What do you see? I can see clearly now that the rain is gone. I can see obstacles. Moving out of my way. Gone is the dark clouds that had me blind. It's gonna be a bright, bright, sunshiny day. No weapon formed against me. Shall prosper. It won't work. Shed no weapon. Let us all stand. Church all prosper. Say God will do. Shall prosper. 
stop you from having a relationship with Christ. If you're not saved, you need to be baptized, Christian experience. Right now is the time to come forward. Shout, it won't prosper. It won't prosper. It won't work. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let us stand all over this place. And yet there is still room. You may come by letter, candidate for baptism, Christian experience, restoration. It does not matter how you come, as long as you come. You may be unchurched, unsaved. You may know him, just don't have a church home. I dare you come now. While the blood still runs warm in your veins, don't leave here unsaved, unsure, uncertain about where you will spend eternity. Will there be one? Amen. Amen. And while you are standing, let's make ready for the Lord's Supper. Say amen. 1 Corinthians 11, 23. Jesus says, for I have received from the Lord. Paul writes, for I have received from the Lord what I also delivered to you, that the Lord Jesus on the night when he was betrayed took bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, this is my body, which is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way also, he took the cup, after supper saying this cup is the new covenant in my blood do this and as often as you drink it you do it in remembrance of me for as often as you eat of this bread and drink of this cup you proclaim the lord's death till he comes again every head bowed every eye closed gracious and eternal father we thank you for the price you paid on calvary father it was a debt you didn't owe the price we couldn't pay. Thank you for being our sacrifice. Thank you for being our substitute. Thank you for dying on our cross. Lord, we thank you for the blood you shed. Thank you for the forgiveness of our sins. Now we ask, Father, that you create in us a clean heart, renew in us a right spirit. Help us to not drink or eat of this fruit of the vine and this bread unworthily as we will be drinking and eating damnation to our souls. Clean us up even now. Take away all bitterness. Take away all hate. Take away all strife, all anger, all jealousy, Lord. Fix us up. Fill us up with your joy. Fill us up with your Holy Ghost even now. And once again, we say thank you for the blood you shed on Calvary. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. This time, our deacons are taking their places. Our mothers and missionaries will be served. Deacon Brown, as usual, will be taking care of the choir and the band and our preachers. And you all come around from the rear as we commune together. You are under the directions of our ushers. This is indeed the meal that heals. We ask you, if you have not been baptized, that you don't partake in the Lord's Supper because you can't remember who you don't know. Once 
some praise for our praise team. Didn't they bless us today as usual? We can do better than that. Let's give God some praise for our praise team. Didn't they bless us? Our overflow choir. Amen. Let's hold up our bread together. This was the bread Repeat after me. This bread represents, symbolizes the body of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, that was broken for us. Let us eat together. Let us hold up the fruit of the vine. If someone needs to be served, I'm sorry. Slip up your hand. If someone needs to be served, if someone is having trouble opening these, just let us know. Let us know. We want to commune together. There is it's power in corporate worship. It's power in corporate prayer. And it's power in corporate communion. And we don't want to leave nobody out. Without the bread, we are toast. Amen. Let's hold up our bread again. Repeat after me. This is the fruit of the vine, which symbolizes, represents the blood of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, that was shed for our sins. Let us drink together.
Amen. Our deacons will come around at this time to serve you. And you can remain standing as we prepare to leave this place. Didn't we have church, new direction? Amen. Let's give God some praise. Amen. Appreciate you all and your presence today. I'm proud of you all. I can't wait to catch First Lady on Facebook after church and then hear her podcast when she come back. She is busy. You hear me? And I know she did a phenomenal job. Then also, I um, want to just thank you all and celebrate you all for your presence today. We are, it looks like we're working on perfect attendance. Amen. Raise your hand if you've been in good attendance lately. If you've been in good attendance, raise your hand. We want to make sure you don't miss a Sunday. Your breakthrough can be one encounter away. Can we shout out and give a hand to our children's teachers, children's church? Children's church teachers, wave your hands, slip up your hands. Samantha, Bridget, Siobhan, Greg, we praise God for you. I know it ain't no joke dealing with 25 and 30 kids every Sunday. We got to do something for y'all. Amen. Let us stand as we pray our pray out of here for the benediction. Every head bowed, every eye closed. Gracious and eternal Father, we pause saying thank you for what we've experienced on this day. Thank you, Father, for we know we are leaving better than we came. We are leaving with more joy, with more peace, with more strength, Lord. We are praying even now that you grow your church, that a soul gets saved even after service. We are thankful, Father, for who you are in our lives. Now unto him who is able to keep you from falling and present you faultless before his presence with exceeding joy. To the only wise God, our Savior, be power, glory, dominion, both now and forever. Let every heart respond by saying amen and amen. Hug or high five at least three people. Tell them I love you. And you can't do nothing about it.